We want to take you inside to take a look at all the setup and the stage that is set for the president and former president, Ariad Manis, with our 11 Alive political team, is inside with a look we can only show you with a TV camera because that arena will be empty tonight other than the two on stage. Ariana? Well, Cheryl, with a little more than four months away from Election Day, tonight has the potential to really change the direction of this race. Now, ahead of tonight's debate, both campaigns for President Biden and former President Trump, they are working to really draw a stark difference between each candidate's direction for the country. The stage is set for the historic matchup between President Biden and former President Trump for the first debate for this election cycle. Both candidates are going to try to show is that you know, they're mentally sharp, uh, they're in command, and uh, they're going to be effective as president in the next four years. Emory University political professor Zachary Petskowitz says while many voters have already decided who they want to be the next president, the debate could potentially swing a portion of the electric to the other candidate. Voters have seen both of these uh, candidates as president before, uh, so they have a lot of information about them. And if, uh, you know, if they can surprise them and show a side of them they haven't seen before, that might be one way to kind of get through and uh, win the debate. And Georgia is once again proving to be at the center of the political universe, with the high stakes debate happening in the heart of the city. It's an opportunity to get a big audience in Georgia and to p potentially uh, persuade or change some votes in Georgia. Or persuade the electric far and wide as the country will watch how each candidate plans to address voters' key concerns like the economy and immigration. Uh, with all of the issues going on in the country, with all the issues that are going on across this world, we have to have a leader that we can trust. Democratic State Senator Jason Estevez says when it comes to driving the country forward, Biden should be the only choice. President Joe Biden has a record that clearly, clearly distinguishes him from President Trump's failures. Meanwhile, Biden is heading into the debate, trailing Trump in the polls. We know this is going to be a great opportunity for President Trump to highlight his strength versus Joe Biden's weakness. Trump's campaign says those numbers represent how Americans feel about the current state of the country. And the former president will use tonight to deliver his plan for America directly to voters. President Trump has a real plan to bring down the cost of living in this country. He has a winning message that he will continue to bring to all corners of this country. And as Cheryl mentioned, the debate where the area where the debate will be happening, it will be empty, but the country will be watching. And both candidates, they've been preparing for that moment. We know President Biden, he spent the week at Camp David meeting with senior White House and campaign aides. And Trump campaign tells us that he's been meeting with policy experts and his advisors, but also continuing his busy campaign schedule. Now the area where the debate is happening in Midtown, security will be tight to get a look at the layout of the city leading up to the debate. I'm going to send things over to our Bo Beth Yates. Bo Beth. Hey there, Ariana. Well, you know, it's quiet right here right now, but this area is expected to be ground zero for protesters as they flock to get their voices heard on a wide range of topics. But officials say they are ready. If you look behind me, this is 10th just by the southbound on ramp for 7585. And you can see law enforcement have already blocked off the street. That closure spans 10th all the way to State Street. And officials say they're going to be here to prevent foot and vehicle traffic from getting through to make sure things do not get out of hand. From what I hear, uh, many people intend to protest at the upcoming debate. For months, Marlon Counts has been among those taking a stand against the Atlanta Public Service Training Center. He's not participating in any organized protest against the debate, but he says some demonstrators will use the opportunity to raise awareness for their causes. In an event like that, there's going to be tremendous media coverage. There's going to be tremendous attention from all over the country. I think a lot of people have issues that they want to talk about, that they think need attention. Um, and they want to use protest to call attention to those things. Several flyers currently circulating are calling on protesters, encouraging them to take to the streets. These are in support of the Palestinians impacted by the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. This flyer even telling the community to come together to stop the debate. Still, others plan on protesting for or against a particular candidate. One of the things that we think is important is to make sure that people know the facts. We're not telling you how to decide. We're just saying, based upon your life and the lives of your community and your family, what is the best thing, who is the best choice for you? Because people forget. 
you know, they're not dealing with politics every day. They're dealing with their daily lives. Mm -hmm. And it's important that they be reminded before the election. And I want to give you perspective. Just follow me for a second. This is one of the areas right here to my uh, left where the protesters are expected to gather. We're told just a block away right here, they'll be gathering for a protest, possibly walking back to the other side of the bridge where I showed you the barricades are. So they're definitely expected to be very, very close. Again, law enforcement is super vigilant, Cheryl, as we try to get prepared for this protest later today as, you know, the presidential debate gets underway. All right, Bobeth, a massive day ahead. The fact that this is all happening in Atlanta today shows the importance of Georgia in this 2024 presidential election. Aisha, I'll send it back to you. All right, Cheryl, thank you. We will see you soon. You can watch tonight's debate right here on 11 Alive starting at 9 p.m. And after that, we're going to have local insight from analysis on the news at 11.